Oh, yeah. I'm Ed from the Chemical Brothers, hi. And I'm Tom, and we're here at Fuji Rock Festival in 2019. Mm-hmm. Well, we love Fuji Rock. You know, from the first time we came in 99, we were so um, surprised and warmed and delighted to see a festival where you know, that had that sort of spirit of the festivals we like. We play a lot of so-called festivals, which are really just lots of bands playing one after another in a feel but this has the thing of people being away from home camping and just having fun all night and all day and eating together and just that just having a quite different experience so it just means when you're on stage it doesn't feel it feels like you're adding to an already ongoing existing spirit rather than providing it all yourself uh, and there's just a, it's beautiful around here you know if you've, every time you come back you forget like what it looks like to be on this uh on this in this high altitude and the green of the trees and the sky sort of changing color every couple of hours really amazing yeah yeah it's a fuji rock festival yeah it's a really special place you know as ed was saying it's somewhere people made a commitment to come to you know they've left their other life behind it reminds us of uh glastonbury festival in the uk which is a similar thing where you have a kind of pilgrimage to and people will come together and they stay on the site and everyone is in the same place for the weekend yeah just it's a different experience you know it's not a festival a lot of festivals they were saying you know i just made to sell you a phone or you know cigarettes or something whereas this festival seems to have a spirit about it it's run by people who love music um yeah it's a nice you know place to play song eve of destruction We'd written with uh, Aurora, who's a Norwegian singer. And uh, I don't know, as well as putting the song to working on the song some more, it just had this one of those sort of flight of fancy ideas of like, wouldn't it be amazing if in this section we kind of moved to a different voice in a different world kind of thing, a different uh, perspective. And then I remember like, we grew up always loving those sort of craft work records, you know, it had this international feeling where you'd get a, German voice and a Japanese voice or a French voice and it'd just be something you know it had that sort of feel to it mm. and we spoke to some of our friends in Japan and uh, they were saying oh you should check out Nene and her band and when we heard her voice it was like wow that would be a cool idea and then it was one of those sort of cool ideas that actually happened and she was amazing and, and sent very cool vocal that really fitted into the song um, and that's what you hear yeah that's a very good exercise yeah international feel oh yeah we weren't really sure what she was actually singing but with uh, Nene's vocal I sent a a clip of it to some friends in Japan and one line they had was everything is broken but then it was translated differently so we're still not entirely sure I think we're going to meet Nene uh, later today so we could we could ask what it is but in fact for us maybe the not knowing is quite has a certain uh, appeal like it it uh, means that we're not kind of hamstrung by an intended meaning. We, c- we people can put their own meanings. She 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 wraps it so well. It has such power. You don't need to know the words. Uh, I don't think we we got plans for her to join on stage because we we've always have felt that when we perform our music, it's the two of us who make it. And although we have a lot of guest vocals and samples, we feel that that's the best way to. Uh, to get over what we do. I'm afraid it was brief, but very enjoyable. And just like to say goodbye from Ed, the chemical. And it's goodbye from Tom. (laughs)